What is up everybody, how is it going? Welcome to today's one minute video where we are going to talk a bit about being subjective in dropshipping. I'm sure a lot of you guys what being subjective means from the, from the dictionary. It means looking at something with your own eyes, your own opinion, own perception. But why is this bad in dropshipping? Well, mainly because dropshipping is a numbers game and it applies to every field in dropshipping and e-commerce. Testing products, winning products, ad sets, uh, stores even. Let me give you an example. For example, if a store has um, 100 visitors, uh, 30 add to cards and 10 purchases, I'm just getting it out of my head. That means it's a really good store, right? Or the, um, I don't know, the store looks really good. I don't even have to see the store. I don't even need to look at it. It doesn't matter what I or you think. If the store is nice or it's not nice, you like it, you don't like it, it doesn't matter. The numbers are amazing, so that story is good. That, that, that story is a story in which uh, the customers are responding really well to it based on numbers, not based on your perception, not based on your opinion, right? The same with ads. You keep uh, staying in the same bad mentality and repeating over and over <clears throat> that you like that product. Why doesn't it sell? You're not, uh, you're not looking at other factors that could come into place like uh, ads, like store, like the ad creative, like targeting interest. You're not looking at that. You only think that that product, it's a good product, it must sell. It doesn't work like that. This is how uh, personal opinions and subjectiveness uh, bring harm to your dropshipping store, right? So make sure to check only the numbers. If the numbers are good, then make your decision based on that. Don't make decisions based on subjectiveness and emotion and personal views of, of, the, of that matter, right? This is one of the corner sources. It's really important in dropshipping, especially in testing and stores and so on. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.